Hello, Randy, K7AGE. I'm back, and now we will hook up the mixer. So I'm not going to use my mixer for transmit audio. I'm not going to hook up a microphone into the mixer and the output of the mixer go into my HF radio. I'm only going to be using this for receiving. So for receiving, I have four audio sources I will be connecting into the mixer. My Elecraft K3, my Kenwood TS2000, which has a main and a sub receiver. So on the main I can have HF typically, and on the sub I can have either 2 meter or 450, or a lot of times I use it to monitor two different 2 meter repeaters here in the area. And my fourth source will be my Uniden Home Patrol Scanner. So the output of the mixer is going to be connected to a pair of JBL powered speakers. So these will sound a lot better than the little speakers that are in the radio and also better than the quote matching speakers that uh, all the manufacturers sell. And with the mixer I can mix any of the four sources to either of the two speakers. So I have a lot of control over what I hear coming out of each speaker. So to control the audio with the mixer we have the sliders which affects the gain and we very important is the pan pots. And the pan pots adjust in proportion the input to the two outputs. So if I have the pan pot all the way to the left, the input will come out the left speaker. If I have another input set with the pan pot all the way to the right, it'll come out the right speaker. If I put it in the middle, it'll come out both speakers. So this is one of the ways you can control what audio will come out which speaker. So I've made a cable list here of all the cables that I need to connect the radios to the mixer. So for the microphone, it would be for an XLR microphone for, for video recording. So it just needs a um, male to female cable to go between the mic and the mixer. The K3 will use a 3.5 millimeter stereo plug on one end to a male XLR on the other. The TS2000, the main output, is an RCA on my audio breakout box. It'll go to a, another male XLR to plug into the mixer. Same thing for the sub-receiver output, the S, another RCA to male XLR. And the scanner uses a 2.5 millimeter, and I'll connect that to a quarter-inch um, connector on the mixer, which has three circuits, tip, ring, and, and sleeve. Wiring up to the mixer requires that we're going to be dealing with two, two different styles of audio wiring. What's in the radios is known as unbalanced. This is very simple. There's a hot wire, which is typically the center, kind of like a coax, and another wire, which is the ground or the shield. So just two wires, and the signal's carried between the hot and the, and the shield. The mixer uses what's called balance wiring. So now it's three conductors instead of two. There's two conductors that carry the signal. There's a hot and a cold, or a plus and minus, however you want to call them. These two wires are twisted, a twisted pair. The third wire is the, the shield or the ground that goes around them. Now the audio, or the signal, is carried as the difference between these two signals. So this would typically go into an op amp, which has a plus and minus input. The difference is then amplified. The reason balance wiring is preferred for professional audio is that any noise that would get introduced into the wiring gets introduced into both of the conductors equally. And since we're looking at the difference in the signal to be amplified, if it's the same signal on each wire, it's basically canceled out and only the difference between the two wires is amplified. So this is really preferred for professional audio. So to wire into the mixer, we'll be using unbalanced sources to a balanced input on the mixer. So we'll take the, the hot lead of the unbalanced wire. It'll connect to pin 2 on the XLR. This is the, the hot or the plus terminal. The shield will connect to pin 3, which is the ground or shield, and also to the minus or the cold side. So now the amplifier in the mixer will amplify the difference between one pins 1 and 2, and 1 is actually also connected to 3. So this is how you go from an unbalanced to a balanced using an XLR connector. The mixer also uses quarter-inch connectors that are three circuits. So there's what's called the sleeve, the ring, or the tip, or you 
may hear people call it tip ring sleeve or TRS. So there's three signals, there are three connections here, just like on the XLR connection. So the tip is the plus, the ring would be the minus, equivalent to an XLR, and the shield is equal to pin three on, on the XLR. So the hot lead from the unbalance will come in and connect to the tip, and the shield will connect both to the sleeve and also the ring connector on the plug that will be plugged into the mixer. So that's how that'll be wired. So for the cabling, I bought a, a bunch of XLR extension cables from somewhere on Amazon, forget where, but these are about six feet long. They come with both the male and the female XLR connectors pre-soldered. These are twisted pair, so there's two wires plus the shield. So I'm gonna be soldering the pins one and three together, or the wires for pins one and three together at the connector I install, so I don't have to open these up and do the jumper inside the connector. Okay, time for some smoke and solder. I have some cables oops, and some connectors, so let's get busy. Well, I got all those connectors soldered on. Now I have a lot of cables. So let's hook them up between the radio and the mixer. Here we go. Okay, we got all the cables hooked up from the radios to the mixer. Now let's get the speakers out and set those up on the shelf here. Okay, I've got it all installed here. I have the mixer pulled out a little bit so we can see things. I have the K3, let me turn up the monitor volume. It turns up the feed to the speakers. That's the K3 on the, on the second input. I have my TS2000 main on the third input. So I open the squelch, I have that coming out of this speaker, the pan pot to the left. If I open up the squelch on the sub receiver, it comes out on the right speaker and the scanner here is also set to come out over on the right speaker. So I think I'm pretty well set up. Okay, I've got the mixer all installed here. Everything seems to be working, and I just now need to spend some time with it to play around with the levels and the pans and the EQ to get things tweaked in just the way I want. But I'm sure this is gonna be a very nice addition to the shack, having these nice JBL speakers. So thanks for watching. This is Randy, K7AGE. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed yet, please press the subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter at K7AGE and on Google Plus at plus K7AGE. Randy, K7AGE73, and thanks for watching.